<clears throat> Thank you. I, I haven't asked my question yet. I'm going to ask mine, then I'll go right to Senator Hickenlooper. My question is going to be to all of you very, very quickly, if you can give us answers. Inflation. What's inflation in your in, in, in your territories? What is the inflation? What is the most contributing factor to inflation? What are you fighting the most right now? Is it food? Is it energy prices? Is what, what is it? You know, but where's your inflation rate? What's your greatest challenge you have? We'll start with our friend from Puerto Rico. Yes. Well, uh, my concern with inflation is the cost. What's your rate? Of, What's your rate? Is the well? Last year was about six percent lower about than the mainland, cost. but still too high. Sure. And it impacted all the different areas you mentioned. But one area in particular that troubles me is cost of construction materials, because the way we're getting the funding from FEMA is it is basically through Section 428 of the Stafford Act, which caps the funding. Once you agree to an estimate with FEMA, and that happened in 2019. You have to live with it. Gotcha. Whatever cost, the cost overrun goes on you. So we, we're engaged in conversations with FEMA, and I'm alerting congressional leadership that FEMA should have the flexibility to adjust the cost, the, the cap on the projects, so that the scope of work of the projects doesn't get affected. Yeah. Uh, so that's the, so your the area of Your inflation about the same of ours, but basically your construction trying to get rebuilt back from your hurricanes and all that is exactly. basically not able to proceed as you thought because you have cost overruns. Yeah, well, we could end up not doing all the projects right. that we, right, we, right. we planned to do because of the cost of inflation. Got it. The inflation. Congressman, or Governor, if you will. Thank you. Uh, we, we're in the same situation. Is your rate about six? Pardon me? Are you in a 6% rate, inflation rate? No, we're, we're higher. Where are we're you? We're much higher. Yeah. I'm not, I don't have the specific numbers. So higher but, than, than, than this national But, but it's have very, have. very high. Okay. For cons cons and what's the greatest cause of your inflation? Pardon me? What's causing you the greatest harm and in, in, in basically making it difficult for your citizens? I think transportation, transportation. where we're at, and that's and, and energy, of course. Just high cost of getting everything to the island, Absolutely. Right? Okay. okay. Senator American Thompson. Samoa is at the 11%. Uh, You're 11%? Yes, sir. Uh, cost, again, constructions, shipping into the island, and food are the high uh, most uh, rate of the uh, rate, inflation rates. I would say the same. Ours is about maybe 8 to 10 percent. Okay. Uh, and for example, Senator, price of eggs was two ninety nine, and now it's like $10. So damn, gas, you energy, can't trust those chickens. gas, <laughs> We're actually we're actually giving uh, subsidies to our uh, egg farmers to. Well, the problem is we, the the the, the, uh, the virus that hit the chickens. I mean, it's, it's taking a toll everywhere in America too. So the cost of our inflation is, of course, energy, the gas prices, sure. uh, and also uh, chain uh, supply chain. We I'm going to I'm gonna get to energy real quick. Yeah. Energy, uh, sixty three cents a kilowatt hour, uh, compared to like twelve here. Food. A uh, pack of chicken thighs is thirty five dollars. What's your inflation, hours. Governor? Your inflation rate is the last three years five percent, five percent, seven percent growth. Uh, and then construction, our, our public housing unit is costing us three hundred and eighty thousand to five hundred thousand dollars per unit. And construction has tripled um, in cost. Inflation and the hurricane recovery, uh, but but uh, yeah, it's really bad. I do know the territories and the islands are basically the energy is a tremendous. Uh, factor for you, all the reliability and also the cost. Now with the uh, Inflation Reduction Act and also the bipartisan infrastructure bill, uh, are you all, are you all, do you see much uh, uh, interest and much technology coming your way or people wanting to develop hydrogen, different types of new fuel, reliable fuel, you know, even cleaner fuel or using fossil in a much cleaner way? Are you seeing those interest peaking in your areas because you would be natural for that being yeah. more self-reliant? So for us, solar energy, of course. Sure. And we have a goal of 100% uh, uh, alternative energy by 2045. But we're also looking at virtual power plants using solar uh, energy uh, coming from rooftops. That's something that... Storage uh, is the biggest concern you have right now because you don't have the reliability on storage. Right. And we're trying to develop the storage as quickly as possible. Hydrogen is a tremendous replacement for what we've been doing. And if you have that much... You know, you can do green hydrogen. You can do green ammonia. There's so much. I want to make sure that you all have all the opportunities that we have developed, and we're trying to mature it very quickly. So let us know how we can help on energy on that. You know, I know 
uh, oil. Most of you ran by oil for a long time, and I know, I know it's uh, on the island as far as in your situation with the refinery. We need that refinery up and running. We do it for for stability, for the whole region, and I, I agree with you. I should just say that I issued an executive order in Puerto Rico. Um, in making uh, green hydrogen uh, renewable energy, considering it as renewable energy, because we have a renewable energy portfolio, which we have to, standard, which we have to meet. And if you're, you're getting pushed back, they're saying green hydrogen does well, not the, fit the, as renewable? The term is being used, but what I mean is the following. Hydrogen, I agree with you. It's got that's horsepower. The, that's the future. It's got yeah. horsepower and you have stability That's with the it. future. But I am, since I have this standard that I have to meet as sure. a matter of our energy public policy law, I'm considering hydrogen. I would hope as, you would. As, as one of the re, uh, renewable energy and sources. And we can make blue hydrogen also. And if we capture it and basically and sequester the, the, uh, the CO2 from that, exactly. that would raise that to a level. And then we have a three dollar credit on it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to jump over to because I know that we have to run. The bell's been rung. Uh, if thank you all, we're going to have a lot of more discussion on this. We want to help you and make sure you have access to every opportunity of this new transition that's going on, using all of the above in a cleaner fashion than we've ever had before. Senator Hickenlooper.